Tondi's life could have come to a complete stop. Instead, the 22-year-old did not give up. Living in one of Johannesburg's biggest informal settlements, Tandi was raped at a young age, and again while doing chores for an older man. In her late teens, she became pregnant. I was telling myself, why must I go to school while my friends are dropping out? There's no use for me to do those things. So, and most of, most of those times, I was engaging with like older people. Tandi is like many young South Africans, faced with poverty, violence, and an increased risk of HIV. In South Africa, girls aged between 15 and 19 years accounted for 90% of new adolescent infections. Young women are facing a triple threat. High risk of HIV infection, low rates of HIV testing, and difficulty accessing and staying on treatment. Tandi is free of HIV, but considers herself extremely lucky. Unmotivated by her job, she joined Love Life two years ago. This is one of South Africa's biggest HIV prevention programs for young people, emphasizing empowerment and peer support visiting schools. They feel free to some uh, topics to talk to me because like in our culture, uh, we're not supposed to say some things. Like we're not supposed to talk about sex and all those things, especially with, the, with our parents. UNAID says we must stop failing young women and do more to protect them. We need to take the life cycle approach so that uh, children uh, should be born uh, free of HIV and we should uh, keep them uh, uh, free so they should stay free and also AIDS free. This cycle is so critical if we want uh, to reduce infection amongst adolescents and later on end the epidemic. Tandi stuck to her studies and loves mentoring. For me, staying in school was a big opportunity for me because I've realized that as a young woman, you don't have to give up in life. You, you have to believe in yourself. You have to have that faith that I am someone else. I'm a human being. I will tell the girls out there that in order for you to go forward, talk to people because talking help, it really helps a lot. She has lofty goals for herself especially helping others stay free from HIV.